I felt like my body was craving something like Anchored. I'm Charlene Lamb. I live in Lisbon in Portugal currently. I'm originally from New York City. As a coach, I, I knew about thought work. I do a lot of thought work. I do a lot of self-coaching. I get coached a lot. And I thought I had a really good set of tools. I got into coaching and getting coached because I had anxiety that was kind of out of control and it changed my life. So I thought, oh, I'm good. I've got these tools. And then, mm, summer 2022, my body was literally vibrating. There was anxiety that was at a level that I hadn't experienced in years. And I realized my existing tool set, not adequate anymore. I need something else. My body is screaming out for something else. And then anchored. And it was like the universe said, uh, this is actually what you need. So I booked a call and learned more about anchored. And I was, I was in. I'm going to answer the universe when it says, I hear you screaming for help, and here you go. I feel like I'd already done so much work on getting to a place of unconditional love, on allowing what we don't necessarily want to have in our lives, right? Like losing my mother and dealing with my own grief definitely required that I do that work. But in Anchored, it was learning these new tools for how to help my nervous system, um, what to do when my body started vibrating or when things felt stuck. But it was also this validation about how much I could trust my body and how much I could trust my instincts. And I always knew I had a decent brain and it was nice to feel that kind of affection for my body too. I didn't realize how much I needed that. You know, I think when you have anxiety, when you have depression, it's really easy to fall into this feeling that, oh, my body is broken or my brain is broken. Um, I won't be able to do things the way that other people do. And I think there's a lot of being really difficult on ourselves. So getting to that place of, oh, I don't just accept what my brain and my body are doing, but that I actually have affection for it, it changes that feeling entirely. On a personal level, I think it's just a higher degree of self-trust than I've ever had before. And professionally, when you're an entrepreneur, it is so hard on the nervous system, right? You're risking rejection, you're risking humiliation or whatever kind of comes up for you. And in order to do any of the things that we need to do as entrepreneurs, to test programs, to risk failure, I really do think getting a handle on your nervous system and having the tools to deal with what comes up is so helpful. So I've already seen that having an impact on the way that I talk to people, on how much I put myself out there, and just the way I make offers. I know I have the tools to deal with whatever kind of feelings come up. The people in Anchor are the nicest, most empathetic, kindest people. And I'm not necessarily a joiner. I'm a big introvert. So I was a little concerned about sharing too much or taking on other people's worries. But I think somehow you create this anchored container that feels safe to share. And sometimes we share some really sensitive and kind of personal things. And somehow it feels safe to do so. And there's something about knowing that you're in this container and you're in this space and anchored where we've all come together from different walks of life, from different countries, different age groups to work on ourselves. Having a group of women who are working on themselves cheer each other on is a really magical experience. It's so worth it. I can honestly say that coaching changed my life and saved my life. I can't even imagine not investing in myself. My brain and my body, they're the only ones I have, at least in this lifetime, <laughs> depending on what we believe. I always invest in it. I can't think of any other thing that I would rather spend money on. There's nothing to lose. There's so much to gain. So <laughs> take that chance on you.